Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a set based on my favorite hockey team, which is the St. Louis Blues. To get started, I already applied my tips and some base coat, and now I'm going in with this gold spider gel and this blue spider gel. And I'm just going to be putting that right onto the tips of the nails for a design that's going to show underneath. I am a huge hockey fan and so is my family. I've grown up watching hockey like my whole life and when we lived in Missouri we used to go to the games all the time but since moving to Arizona we've been to a few of the games um, when the Blues have come to town but we haven't really been to very many uh, games just because we're Blues fans and we'd rather watch them play, but we have gone to a couple of the Coyotes games even when the Blues weren't playing. Since I'm such a huge fan of hockey, I wanted to create a set just based off of the Blues and I actually asked my sister to draw me up a design because I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do. And she's drawn me some designs before, so I asked her if she could just come up with something that I could do. And I'm doing the design she drew up for me, but I am switching it up a little bit. So for my pinky nail, I put both the gold and the blue on before I cured it because I wanted to make sure that I liked how it looked before doing all of my nails. And since I did like it, um, I cured it and then I moved on to the rest of the nails and I just did the gold first on all of the nails and then I cured that. And then after I got the gold on, I went and did the blue and then I cured that. After I finish with the spider gel, I take my white gel polish from Model 1s and I just do one layer of it to be as a background for the blue and the gold. It also goes well because their jerseys are white and they have like the blue and gold like detailing on them. After I get the white on, on all the nails, and I get it cured, I do um, build up the nails with my nude builder gel, but I don't do that on camera, just because I've shown it before and I feel like it's kind of repetitive and I just wanted to mainly focus on the nail art for this video and not so much me building a nail. So for the background color for all the nails, I take a light blue from Savvyland, a dark blue from Savvyland, and like a teal from Savvyland, and I mix them together. I use mainly the light blue and the dark blue, and I add in just a little bit of the teal 
to get the color that I wanted as the base for all the nails and I apply one coat to all the nails and then I cure that for 60 seconds and then I apply a second coat and cure that for 60 seconds. If I get any gel on my skin, I just take a smaller brush and dip it into some isopropyl alcohol and use that to clean it up before I stick my hand in the lamp and cure the gel. I really love blue nails. Uh, blue is my favorite color, but like blue nails are my favorite along with like black nails. I used to always paint my nails like blue or black and just having them blue was so pretty and I was a little sad that I wasn't just keeping them blue and I was going to be doing nail art on top but I was also excited because I knew like what I was gonna do and like I was really excited to see how it would turn out. So using that dark blue from Savvyland again, I'm just going to be doing some um, like drips, like blood drips, because there's the saying that we say uh, as blues fans, we say we bleed blue. And so that's kind of what that's representing. Also, before I do any nail art on my nails, like if I paint them with gel polish any color, I will wipe them off with the isopropyl alcohol to get rid of that sticky layer because I've found that if I go on top of that sticky layer with nail art or like more gel for nail art, it tends to spread. But if I wipe that sticky layer off, it the nail art doesn't spread and it stays like where I want it to be. So I always wipe my nails before I go in and do any kind of nail art. I'm sure you guys have seen multiple times people doing these blood drips, especially around Halloween. Um, but they're super simple and easy to do. I just take a dotting tool dip it in the color and then I make my dot and then I use the dotting tool to drag that drip up and then I just take a liner brush afterwards and just go along the cuticle line and then connect all the drips to that and like curve the like where they're coming out from and Again, if I get any gel on my skin, I take a brush dipped in alcohol and just wipe that up before I cure. I do those drips across all the nails and once I get the drips on, I cure them for like 60 seconds. So after I did the drips, I did the St. Louis skyline across the bottom of my nails, but um, apparently I didn't hit record when I was doing that, so there's no footage of that. And then after I did the skyline, I also did the mascot, which is a bear and his name is Louie. And all the footage of that was me completely out of frame so there's no footage of me doing that either and so now on my middle finger i am doing the blue note which is like the logo for the blues and i drew it out with a pencil because this is actually really hard to draw and i was kind of having a little bit of trouble doing it with just the gel at first so i just drew it on with the pencil and then traced over it with the gel polish and i'm just going over it with the dark blue
And then after I cured the dark blue outline on, I went in and did the white outline that's on the inside of the blue. But um, I realized that when I would go in with the yellow next, that there wouldn't be enough space for the blue, that light blue in the middle to show. So I wiped off the white before I cured it and then went in with the yellow and then I went over the dark blue outline with the white and then I did the dark blue outline again on the outside of the white. So here you can see I did the yellow where I had the white originally and now I'm just outlining that with the white gel polish. And now I'm going around all of that with the dark blue. And now I'm doing the like heart hockey stick design. Um, I accidentally put it on my ring finger at first 
And then thankfully I realized that before I cured it and I just wiped it off with some alcohol and was able to redo that over on my pinky nail. I also ended up drawing this on with the pencil just to make sure that the heart would be even and the way I wanted it to be because I realized when I painted it on my ring finger at first that I wasn't sure if I would be able to get the heart like how I wanted it to look with the bottom half of it being a hockey stick so I just drew it on with the pencil and now I'm going over it with the gel polish I'm starting with the yellow and then I cure that and then I go in with the dark blue and then I cure that and then underneath of it I um, with the black gel polish I draw on a hockey puck Now I am putting Vladimir Tarasenko's number on my ring nail. Um, he's my favorite player on the team. His number is 91. And I had originally tried just drawing it on with the gel polish, but my spacing was off and it wasn't fitting right. So I ended up having to draw it on with the pencil first to make sure I got my spacing right. And then I uh, went in with the gel polish. So I'm starting with the white and going over the numbers and filling them in with the white. And then I'll take the dark blue and outline the numbers with the dark blue. And then I go around and outline again with the yellow.
Now on my thumb, I'm just writing out St. Louis Blues. I'm starting with the dark blue again, and I'm just going to fill in all of the letters with that. I did trace over the little um, inside of the B with the blue, and I wasn't going to completely fill it in, but then I ended up filling in the entire B. Um, that might not have made sense right now, but you'll see when I get to it. And then after I get the dark blue on, I outline with the yellow. And then after I get the yellow on, I outline with the white.
after I got blues on, I went above it and with the white and wrote out St. Louis. And I'm not sure what that little like hole is on the blue part, like the background part. But um, I guess I, there might have been like a air bubble or something. I don't know. But I did, um, after I got the St. Louis on, I took that blue that I had mixed up for it and just filled it in with um, that color and cured it and it was fine after that. It's not there anymore. And after everything was finished, I took my favorite shiny top coat and top coated all of the nails with it. Adding top coat is probably my favorite part of doing my nails because it just brings the whole design together and it just makes everything look so much better and just nice and smooth and sometimes when I'm not feeling too good about a design I've done when I add the top coat it just makes it look 10 times better and I don't know I just love adding top coat this top coat that I'm using is called GA and EN I get it from Amazon it is my favorite top coat that I have tried it's a little bit thicker than some of the other ones that I have used before, but it also is super shiny and it stays shiny because sometimes shiny top coats kind of lose their shine and um, get kind of dull looking and they're not as shiny as when you first put them on, but this top coat stays shiny the entire time you have it on and I just love it. I'll have it linked down in the description below if you want to try it out. And now I'm just applying my cuticle oil. I got a whole pack of like 15 different cuticle oils off of Amazon and this one is lavender scented and I'm not a huge fan of the smell. I don't really like flower smells. So I'm using it first just to get it all used up and out of the way before I use some of the other ones. And here they are all finished. They turned out so good. I really love them. They are my favorite nails that I've done so far on my channel. I know I said that for a couple other videos, but these ones are definitely my favorite that I've done here on my channel so far. Here I'm just trying to get my pinky to line up with the rest of my nails because it tends to like to curve and hide under my ring finger, but I gave up on that. So it's just how it is. But like I was saying, I absolutely love these nails and how they turned out. And I don't know, I mean, I might be biased because I love hockey. I'm a huge fan of hockey and the St. Louis Blues are my favorite team. So that might have something to do with why I love them so much. But overall, they turned out really well and the nail art I feel like is some of my best work that I have done and just the 
everything about them is so good and like this underneath part looks so good and so cool with the whole set and it just brings everything all together and I have had them on for a few days now and I keep staring at them because I just love how they turned out and my sister did an amazing job at drawing up a design for me if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have as cool of a design as this is I still would have done these nails but it would have been a bit more basic and we wouldn't have the skyline or the blood drips because I didn't even think about that when I was trying to come up with a design so shout out to her I'll post a side by side of her drawing and my nails at the end and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video And here's a quick little sneak peek of the set that I'm doing in my video that will be uploaded on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video.